The Now of Pooh. In the morning sunshine, in the evening twilight, a small bear travels through a forest. Why did we follow him when we were so much younger? He is, after all, only a bear of little brain. But is brain all that important? Is it really brain that takes us where we need to go? Or is it all too often brain that sends us off in the wrong direction, following the echo of the wind in the treetops which we think is real, rather than listening to the voice within us that tells us which way to turn? A brain can do all kinds of things, but the things that it can do are not the most important things. Abstract cleverness of mind only separates the thinker from the world of reality, and that world, the forest of real life, is in a desperate condition now because of too many who think too much and care too little. In spite of what many minds have thought themselves into believing, that mistake cannot continue for much longer if everything is going to survive. The one chance we have to avoid certain disasters is to change our approach and to learn to value wisdom and contentment. These are the things that are being searched for anyway, through knowledge and cleverness, but they do not come from knowledge and cleverness. They never have, and they never will. We can no longer afford to look so desperately hard for something in the wrong way and in the wrong place. If knowledge and cleverness are allowed to go on wrecking things, they will before much longer destroy all life on earth as we know it, and what little may temporarily survive will not be worth looking at, even if it would somehow be possible for us to do so. The masters of life know the way, for they listen to the voice within them, the voice of wisdom and simplicity, the voice that reasons beyond cleverness and knows beyond knowledge. That voice is not just the power and property of a few, but has been given to everyone. Those who pay attention to it are too often treated as exceptions to a rule, rather than as examples of the rule in operation, a rule that can apply to anyone who makes use of it. Within each one of us, there is an owl, a rabbit, an eeyore, and a poo. For too long, we have chosen the way of owl and rabbit. Now, like eeyore, we complain about the results, but that accomplishes nothing. If we are smart, we will choose the way of poo. As if from far away, it calls to us with the voice of a child's mind. It may be hard to hear at times, but it's important just the same, because without it, we will never find our way through the forest. Backward. Well, what do you think, Pooh? I said. Think about what? Asked Pooh. The Tao of Pooh, of course. The how of Pooh? Asked Pooh. Do we have to go through that again? I said. Go through what again? Asked Pooh. The Tao of Pooh, I said. What's the Tao of Poo? You know, the uncarved block, the Coddleston Pie Principle, the Poo Way, that sort of bear, and all that. Oh, said Poo. That's the Tao of Poo, I said. Oh, said Poo. How would you describe it? I asked. Well, this just came to me, he said. I'll sing it to you. All right. Now then. <clears throat> To know the way, we go the way, we do the way, the way we do, the things we do, it's all there in front of you. But if you try too hard to see it, you'll only become confused. I am me, and you are you, as you can see, but when you do, the things that you can do, we will find the way, and the way will follow you. That's what I think it is, he said. Perfect, I said, but you know, don't you? Know what? said Pooh. It's the same thing. Oh said Pooh. So it is. <laughs>